Uh, we're going to go through adjusting the twine disc holder tension. What that is, it's, it's this three piece spring and that's putting tension on the twine disc itself and it, 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 um, it dictates how much twine can slip between the twine disc and the twine disc holder which is this here uh, cast piece right here. I don't know if my finger's in the way. Um, and basically this spring reaches down through putting pressure against this cast piece rotating it towards the twine disc so when twine's in there it, it dictates how much twine can slide through as the knot's being de developed. So I'll just I'll just set it up where we want to, where we want to see it at factory. And the way to do that is you loosen off the jam knot at the back, which I just did with two 17 mil wrenches, and then you loosen off the main bolt. So we'll just go ahead and do that. So we have that all the way loose now, and you see it's a three-piece spring, which uh, I'm just just make a note. Uh, then you tighten this up all the way with fingers, finger tight, as hard as you can. So I can get it to there. And then we want to tighten it an additional eight flats. And a flat would be one side of the, the bolt. So a sixth of a turn, let's say. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go, that's one, that's two, that's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you always want to end up with a, a flat of the bolt, flat against the uh, spring. You don't want to be halfway through it to where a point is resting on the spring. You want to be on directly on the flat. So when we do that, we'll tighten up the jam nut. So using two wrenches, grab the bolt and then crank the jam nut tight. Once that's finished, uh, the setting is right. Um, what this dictates is how long the tails will be on the knots. So if this is too loose, the tails will be extremely long. If this is too tight, the tails will be extremely short. And if it's, if it's way too tight, what can happen is those knots will actually pull apart after they're done tied, and then you'll get missed ties from it. Or if, if they hang together long enough, you can actually see them pull apart once the bale is out of the back of the barren, and then they pull apart. Um, that can happen in instances. Normally, if it's too tight, it'll it'll pull apart while it's in the machine and then the next knot it makes is it will mess up. So um, when you're fine tuning this adjustment, if you needed to lengthen the knot length of the tails, you want to loosen the twine disc tension or the twine disc holder tension. So we, I would start by loosening off just one flat at a time and then adju uh, judging the uh, length of the tails and going from there. If you want to shorten the length of the tails, you want to tighten it up and same rule apply one flat at a time um, and that's just for fine tuning.